If you're like me, you go to the store to buy a bowl blank, excellent wood, really beautiful, but 70 bucks? <laughs> no way, I'm too cheap for that. So today I want to show you how to make your own bowl blanks. It's only going to cost you a little bit of sweat equity, and it's going to be fun. We're going to get to play with chainsaws. Say hello to my little friend. Cut down trees. Be in the woods like a woodsman. The glorious life of television. Another good idea if you carry two blades with you. Or wait for gravity to work. <laughs> gravity. Then we're gonna come back to the shop, slap that wood on the bandsaw. You can see I have the wood up against my straight edge here and take the green wood to the lathe. Then we're gonna turn it. Then we're gonna dry it. Then we're gonna take it and finish it. So I'm gonna show you how to go from tree to bowl. Now, this is the part we're looking at the ends of the straws. They're coming out this way. This is where all the moisture will come out. It travels all the way through. So if you don't seal this up, that's where your cracks will happen. And I'm just leaning my body into the cut. And you don't want to rush. You want to take your time with this. Now the push cut I'm doing the fibers are running this way in the wood, so I'm pushing on top of the fibers and it makes a cleaner cut. Okay, now it might look like I'm doing some lousy cutting here. I'm leaving these ridges here on purpose because if I, let me get rid of the middle here real quick. There we go. If I just jam this tool in here, it can't go back now. I can start making my cut right there. So I put a little bumper in there for me that basically helps me with my cut. If I squeeze them this way, I can crush them. So as the tree dries, these straws, oops, these straws shrink in size. They get narrower. Okay, well, you're thinking, okay, if they all got narrower, what would happen? They'd all start falling out, right? No, that's because all the, all the straws inside the tree are held together with something called lignum.